Glory to God. So if you think about it, coming from a DNA and a background where, where riches was God's original plan anyway, that was what he wanted anyway. It wasn't like it was something that man became entrepreneurs of. It was already God's original format. So um, if you think about it, there has been a sabotaging of what God really even sent Jesus for. Because saints, I, 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 after you finish listening to me right here, your whole mind about to change to another dimension. Saints, if you study where man was, it'll give you wisdom to understand why the father even sent Jesus. Because why does the father have to send Jesus? Why can't he just use a prophet? Why can't he just use a, a, a man of God just to restore back the whole Man, think, what's, what's the real root of why the Father sends Jesus? Why? And when I say the Father, I'm talking about these are all the parts that the Lord plays. He plays the Father, he plays Jesus, and he plays the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is just his spirit. Jesus is just him coming down and impregnating a woman. I, I call it divine sex. Yeah, that's what I call it. I call it divine sex. I call it divine sperm transfer. Now, saints, I can teach some deep stuff, but I just say this to mess you up a little bit. How those fallen angels had sperm inside of them? I already know the answer. I already know the answer. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to mess with you. Now nah, I just want to mess with you. Yeah. You can't impregnate somebody without sperm. That's how, that's how God made it. That's the life transfer. So how, how does these angels, these fallen angels, got sperm in them? And why does God got sperm inside of these angels? I know why. And those of you all that have been close to me, that got to hear the mystery, the secret, you understand the story of Lucifer. So why does Jesus have to die? What is he, what is he restoring you back to? Some people say, well, he come to die to restore you back from sin. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so after he restored me back from sin, what else is he restoring me back from? Because sin had all these consequences that took place. And one of the consequences that took place, I was not going to be divinely rich anymore. I was going to have to make something happen. So if Jesus deals with the sin, he's dealing with the make something happen. Because the reason why the make something happen even came into being was because of the sin. The provisional pressure, remember that, provisional pressure, came because of the sin. So now the sin is gone. So there's no provisional pressure. So that means that the riches got to be restored with the set and free of, from sin. So when the scriptures say who the sun set free is free indeed, that just told me that rich is going to come to me. Because when I'm free, all provisional power is moving in my direction. The only reason why it was stopped is because of the sin. 
So if the sin has been abolished, that means that the provisional power can flow. So that means that God is telling me that I'm rich when he tell me that I done got set free. The sonship came on. That means that now the wealth got replaced, restored, renewed. Write this down. Renewed wealth grace. Renewed wealth grace, it happens when God starts teaching you afresh about your covenant. Renewed wealth grace. Renewed wealth grace is every time I sow a seed and I use seed faith. Every time I use seed faith, seed faith is renewing the wealth grace that's on my life. Seed faith gives me the ability of God to be wealthy. I want to give you some one-liners on here to stick with your soul. Some of you all that copy my stuff when I'm up here talking, you're smart as I don't know what. I hope you're not just writing it down. I hope that you land it sit in your soul because saints, that's what I did. I was listening to the gospel. That's how the Lord broke me open out of all curses and cemeteries and all them, them uh, uh, graveyards. Poverty is a graveyard spirit. Slow reactions to God produce slow money. Write that down. Slow reactions to God produce slow money. Write that down. Slow reactions to God produce slow money. Saints, I'm going to tell you something. When I hit 17, something happened to this boy. Oh, boy, I, I, I stepped into Jesus. Oh, bakash, des, 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 des. Ah, something happened to me when I turned 17. I, I, I went from knowing Bible scriptures and knowing all that stuff, and I got real violent. Mentally, I got real violent. I ain't tell nobody what I was doing. My mother didn't know what I was doing. Not one soul in the world knew what I was doing, and I did it consistently. I was doing it on the low. Nobody knew I was sowing seed, but that ugly behind buck teeth looking uh, post office later kept trying to get in my face looking like Albert the Chipmunks. That was the only person that knew what I was doing. That, that was the only person that knew what I was doing. That was the only person that knew that I was sowing, sowing like a wild man. And then laid up there with the, with the chipmunk, Alvin the chipmunk look itself. Her teeth looked so sharp. They up there had a can. They were looking for a can opener. They said, now nah, bring her teeth. Now, the only lady that knew what I was doing, the buck teeth lady at the post office, always told so why you give it to the preacher? Why are you giving all your money? You's a young man. I said, listen, I don't care if I'm a young man. I don't want to turn out looking like you. Put this mail back in the back and send it off to the preacher. That was the only person that knew what I was doing. I was working my covenant. See, when you sowing, you work in your covenant. And, and watch this. You ain't, got, you ain't got to have nobody agreeing with you. You work that covenant when the manifestation comes. They ain't going to be able but to help to agree. Because manifestation shut down argument. What you going to tell me? My daughter got healed from cancer this year. What you think that the daughter, what you think that the doctor's going, what they going to say? They don't got evidence of no cells being tainted with the cancer. So what they going to look at it and try to convince you not? No, you can't convince me not. Even your system got to agree with what my God did. Even, even the visibility of your system, God, even the visibility of your system got to agree with what God did for me. So I was just working my covenant in secret. I was 17 years old and I would get my money. I sold my money. I wasn't listening to no daggone body. And, and nobody could tell me nothing. And, and, and nobody could tell me nothing about the sword that I was sowing into. I don't want to hear it. People tell you all type of stuff when, 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 when you got a saw. Oh, you know your saw smoke weed? Well, well he going to smoke this weed? Well, I'm going to support his weed addiction because I'm, I'm about to sow some more. Huh? I'm about to, oh, yeah, oh, oh, it's smoke. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, he smoke. Well, well, bless be God. He's going to have to smoke some more. I'm about to saw again. No, nah, no, nah, because I'm not listening to no daggone report. I'm listening to God. God, this ain't about no, this ain't about no daggone report. I'm listening to God. I ain't listening to no report. I ain't listening to no news reporter. I'm Joshua and Caleb. I ain't listening to the report. 
If I listen to the report, I'm going to abort what God said. If I listen to the report, I'm going to abort the plan of God for my life. I ain't listening to no report. Because if I listen to the report, I'm going to hear that Goliath done killed everybody. So I ain't going to take up my stones and kill Goliath. If I listen to the report, I'm not going to take the land. Because you hear all these people talking about grasshoppers and all this different type of stuff. I'm not listening to the report. I'm listening to my God. I'm listening to the Holy Ghost. I trust him. He sent me to the earth. I got to fulfill what he said. Now he say, she say. I kept on working my soul. And then, then you got to be careful who you let in your business. You tell so, such and such, you sewing into this one, you connected this one, then, then they won't have a conversation. Well, let me talk to you about something. No, no, I don't need to talk to you right now. I, can't, I ain't got time to talk. I, you, listen, I ain't got time to talk. If, if, I, if, if I take the time to talk to you, it's like I'm talking to the serpent himself. And, and, and I already heard what happened to uh, uh, Evie Eve, how, how he do that. I already, I already know what happened to Evie Eve. Huh? Huh? I, I, I remember Evie Eve, how, 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 he, how he do that. I remember. So I was just sewing and sewing and sewing and minding my own business. But I was meditating on the gospel. I would let the gospel message uh, replay in my soul. I wasn't looking to the left or to the right. I let the gospel message play in my soul. And I wasn't nosy. I wasn't concerned about nobody's life. I don't care how much, how, how much money you got, how much children you got, how much houses you got, how much cars you got, how much jobs you got, how much fears you got, how much sicknesses you got, how much mentalities you got, how much personalities you got. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm studying to show myself approved to God, which is my reasonable service. Saints, I'm going to tell you something. You will become wealthy almost overnight if you get people out of your mind and your business. One of the leading causes of wealth is uh, 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 the leading causes of poverty or lack is scattered focus. I'm going to say it like this. The leading cause for poverty and lack is scattered focus. If you ever meet somebody that stays in poverty, that's somebody that cannot finish an assignment from God. Saints, let me tell you something. You know what happened with black people, with white people, with Spanish people. You know what has happened all these generations is that people can't stick with what God told them to do. They get offended over time. They miss the mark. They follow their feelings. They follow uh, 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 the serpent and they end up missing out on their inheritance. It's not possible that you be diligent and you can't become and you never become rich. It's impossible. It's impossible if you diligent, you will be rich. Diligence is the equation for plenty of, uh, of finances. Diligence is an equation for plenty of finances. What, what uh, Proverbs 12, 27? The substance of a diligent man is precious. It's impossible for you to follow through with what the word of God says consistently and not have breakthrough opening in your money. Wealth gates manifest when you protect your eye gates and your ear gates and all of your soul gates. Wealth gates is a reward because you became the guardian cherub with a flaming sword. You know what that means? That the word of God in, uh, is on fire in your life. I'm talking spiritually. I know there's an actual flaming sword. But I'm talking about the sword of the spirit. Where the word of God is, uh, is so on fire in your life. That no demon can enter in. See, the only reason why demons can ever even get access to you. Because you're not on fire for God. That's, that's just the honest to God truth. Sometimes, sometimes make all type of excuses. You know, I, I've been going through stuff. I was just, you know. I've been no, no, you're just not on fire for God. That's the only way. When you're on fire for God, your discernment is real high. When you're on fire for God, you, you, don't, you don't play around with the devil. 
When you're on fire for God, and people come talk to you, get the hell up out my face. Oh, you talking like that? You a Christian? No, nah, I'm not no daggone Christian. I am a protector of my soul. I don't know what a Christian is no more. People call themselves Christian all day. They're still a homosexual. It's still up there. A lesbian It's still all type of stuff, and they're a Christian. I'm not no daggone Christian. I'm a protector of my soul. I guard my heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. This material not going to make me more anointed. This material not going to put more money in my hand. This material not going to set me free from poverty. This material not going to get me out of hell. This material not going to set me free. This material not going to give me wisdom. This material not going to make me strong. This material not going to make me blessed. This material ain't going to make me prosper. I don't need it. Yeah, yeah, my pa 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 re pe 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 pe. So 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 when the wealth anointing is on you, you you got you got all type of grace from God to keep that wealth strong. And when you're on fire for the Lord, He start giving you high discernment, high understanding, high wisdom, high focus. You hear people all the time say, you know, I'm this way because people molested me. You know, I just don't trust no. No, you're just not on fire for God. If somebody that molested you years ago got so much power over you 20 plus years later, that means that you're weak. You still, watch this here, and, and, and this will hurt people, but you still being molested. Do you know that people that's bitter, they still molested? How, how, how the devil still got you behind? That stuff already happened. Listen, player. Listen, 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 blood. <laughs> listen, 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 uh, 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 folk on, folk on God. Huh? <laughs> listen, listen, this stuff happened years ago. Huh? So, so, so if it happened years ago, why years later the devil still got a stronghold on your mind? Break yourself out of that prison. See, I don't let no memory dominate me. I'm a creator. And if, listen, if you knew what I was doing in secret, I move in silence. But, but, but just know, just know I'm coming. Ah, wait, let me switch that around. Uh, I'm arriving. You gotta understand. I, I, I'm in manifestation mode. You understand what I mean, huh? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Um, 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 I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm flying. I'm in the eagle realm right now. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Now this is my broadcast. Don't talk to me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. Don't argue with me. Uh, shut up, uh, uh, shut up, 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 shut up. Some of y'all, listen, I don't, no, I don't care. I don't care. You got Frito-Lay chips by the side of your mouth. Frito-Lay chips. Some of y'all was eating Ritz. Who eat Ritz? Who, who eat Ritz nowadays? You can't be eating no crackers and cheese. That's why the rat up there ate pieces, ate pieces of cheese at night. You ain't even know it. Make sure you pick the stuff up. You can't be up there putting no cheese on the cheese and shop, 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 You know, I don't want, don't argue, don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing that you say. No, I'm going to finish what I'm got to say. I'm going to finish what I'm going to say. Don't be disrespectful. Don't put your hands up. You ain't got to put your hands up when I'm talking. We ain't got to talk both of us. We ain't got to talk both of us. One of us at a time. Let me finish. All right. It's your time to go. Psych. I done played around with you. Nah, it's not going to never be your time. I just tricked you. I just said, let me talk because I'm going to finish my part and walk out. That's how we roll. We trick you. That's how we roll. We, we weren't going to give you no chance to say what you had to say. We just going to let you listen to what we say then walk out. <laughs> Saints, you ever met people like that? It's also, uh, all right, let me just say my point. Let me say my point. Let me say my point. Then we all going, we going to finish. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with. I don't want to hear it. Shut up, shut up. I don't, I, no, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. No, I ain't listening no more. So you imagine what was the originality that man was in that Jesus needed to even die to restore back. Man in riches. 
man in wealth, man in havila, man in abundance, man in more than enough. Huh? So imagine once Jesus deal with the fact that he dies on the cross and say it is finished. People don't even know what Jesus is saying. It is finished. Jesus is saying, all, listen, all of the consequences that hit because of these sins is done away with. It does not have any authority to manifest in your life no longer. Saints, people don't even know what Jesus is saying. It is finished about. He's saying every work of the devil, it is finished. Everything that the devil would do or ever did to stop you from being my son, my king, my priest, my elect, my anointed, my virtuous woman, rich, wealthy, whole, peaceful, joyful, free, all of that, it is finished now. 1 John chapter 3, uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So after he done destroyed the works of the devil, all of the satanic working, which is in lack, which is in poverty, which is in stealing your stuff, has been completely destroyed. So if it's destroyed, it's actually slavery if you let it operate after Jesus done destroyed it. And saints, that's, that's, I, want you, I want you to hear this. Lack is actually financial deception. Because the money that you can see is not really the money that you are carrying right now inheritance-wise. The health that you can see is not the health that you're carrying inheritance-wise. Imagine how Satan is constantly drawing fake pictures and sending you image of those pictures in your mind. So the Bible say casting down imagination. Why are these imaginations? Because imaginations means they are images. Uh, it, and this is the deception realm of Satan. So, so Satan is, is also an artist, but you got to catch this. He's a con artist. Because the pictures that he going to draw is to really con you out. Of what belongs to you. So saints. Here's what happens. Apostle Paul started apostolically revealing something. That would produce images. Look at what Apostle Paul said. He said. As you purpose in your heart. So give. Why is Apostle Paul telling them. To meditate on their sowing. Because he want, and then watch this. He start giving seed levels. He said, if you sow sparingly, you'll reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you'll reap bountifully. Why is he talking to them like this? He's getting their imagination. He's getting uh, divine imagination to be transferred into their soul. Which is really what hope is. So what Apostle Paul is doing is teaching them how to dream, not only about the seed, dream the seed, but how to dream the harvest. Because if he wanted them just to dream the seed, he would not have told them what the reward will be for the seed that they're dreaming about. He told them, if you're dreaming sparingly seeds, if you're dreaming about sowing small, you're going you to receive the dream of small. If you're dreaming about sowing big and you move into sowing big, you're going to receive the dream of receiving big. So Apostle Paul is using harvest to birth seed, not seed to birth harvest. Oh, my God. 
Ah, ah, that, Sam, listen, listen, did, did you, did, did, did you just hear what I said? Huh? Did, did you just hear what I said? Apostle Paul not using seed to birth harvest. Apostle Paul using the harvest to birth seed. He telling them, get in your head that this is what you're going to get so that when you step into what God is moving you to give, you'll be able to give it easily, not grudgingly, nor of necessity. Because grudgingly and necessity are all demonic realms that corrupt the fun, the excitement, the enjoyment, the pleasure of obeying God with your sowing. So, so look, look at what he's doing. He's training them about the reward system, the riches system, uh, the revenue system. He's telling them, this is what's going to flow in your direction. Don't you want it? You want somebody else to have it? And it belongs to you? You want to live a life that's average when you're a king and a queen? You, 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 you want people to continue to ride over your head? Psalm 66 verse 12. Psalm 66 verse 12. He let men ride over your heads, but, but thou hast brought us out into a wealthy place. The wealthy place is to stop oppression. The wealthy place is to stop the devil and his children from having the power to walk over you. Since I, I, I walked into my bank today, everybody stopped what they was doing. No lie. As I stand in the presence of God, Jesus, you my witness. Father, you my witness. Holy Ghost, you my witness. Everybody stop what they're doing. Everybody running to come help me. And everybody know what I do. Everybody know this the one that on viral, on Facebook, on social media. This the one that always on their teaching. This the one. This him. All of them know. But I demand respect because I respect God. And you carry that same authority everywhere you go. Saints, when I go, in, uh, sometimes I can go inside of a bank and somebody can be in line, right? And it could just be an average, it's just uh, no, no, nobody. And I just walk, the person tell me, come, come in front of me, you can. You just, you just, I can tell that you got handle business, come on. No, I don't. I, nah, when well you standing right there, you done, you done mystified it with Musk. All right, I, I can't. I, go ahead. I'm a, what I'm going to do is when you finish, I'm going to walk around you. All right. I ain't going to come right there because I don't want none of them spirits that's ruling you. You understand? One, and none of the spirits that's the Musk. Uh, you know, and musk. I ain't say no musketeers. I said Musk. That brought me to tears. That's what I said. You understand? See, you just... You ain't hear what I said, baby. You ain't hear what I said, baby. You, you, shut, 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 uh, shut, 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 I'm not trying to skip you. I ain't trying to skip you. Huh? I ain't trying to skip you in this line. I'm trying to skip you in, in mindset. I, I don't never want to take on that type of mindset. You all right, all right. I ain't talking about the three musketeers. I'm talking about uh, 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 the, 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 the musk that brought me into three tears. You understand? There are three tears, one for the dead homies, the other tears for the other dead homies, and the other tears for the other dead homies. It's got three brackets. <laughs> Jesus, 
enjoy my heart. I enjoy his heart. We won. I love Jesus. I love his personality. There's nothing that he ever said to me that offended me, ever. That's why we best friends. I, I've never, I've never gotten angry at God. Says I've, I've been enlightened by God to even help some people. Sometimes people come to me in secret, bring stuff to me, and say, oh, prophet, you, you see this? What you think about that? Hey, hey, wait, calm down. You just don't know that realm. Calm down. Calm down. I walk hand in hand with the Father, the great God Jehovah. Heavy presence, heavy, 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 heavy. Sometimes people don't know why they feel clingy to you. They don't feel clingy to you just because of no natural means. They feel clingy to you because they just met God. Yeah! The other day I was walking inside of a store handling a business and the little girl, little girl in the store looked at her mother and said, Mommy, look, look at him. Her mommy told her, no, don't, don't, point, don't point at him. You can't do that. She said, but Mommy, look. Look, that's, 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 that's a sky man. <laughs> a sky man. Look, this is Sky Man. Mama said, yo, yo, what? A Sky Man. She said, no, stop pointing. Stop pointing. Well, I'm here, I'm here, little girl. It's a Sky Man. I see it. It's Sky in the Sky Man. But he's down here. He's Sky Man. Her mama trying to shut up. Her mama don't understand. <laughs> see, children be having more sight than adults. Because adults sometimes is so they so adultish. They know everything. So so and and, and, and they they just they just live in this life. They already done live. They just know everything. But the child, God will open up their eyes. Remember what the word of God said? Out of the mouth of babes, I perfected praise. Little children. Jesus used to hang around them because children are quicker to receive revelation because they don't got to fight through all that dumb information uh, that, that the system of this world present into the soul. Saints, do you know that a lot of the information that the world presents to the soul, it blinds you and dumb you down? So when God want to talk to you, it, God got to break off all those layers. Saints, I'm going to say something powerful that you probably never saw it like this before. To go in line with what I'm talking about, how God got to break down layers. What happened when the Lord is sending Ananias to go heal Saul, which is now Paul's eyes? The word of God said that the scales begin to fall off of his eyes. Saints, these scales was not just natural scales. They were spiritual scales. God removing all these different scales and measurements of information and knowledges that will stop the apostolic from flowing on Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. Lep roste na branta rebeke ropos rebeke prete rebeka rapa. So, so what's going on? He's removing all those scales. For Apostle Paul, so Apostle Paul came and said, I pray that you might receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Why is Apostle Paul talking about the spirit of revelation? Because that's what came upon him for the scales to be removed. Now he can see God in every dimension. To the degree, he said, I was taken up to the third heaven and I began to see and I began to hear things that is not lawful for me to even utter. What is Apostle Paul saying? This realm that I stepped into and I saw God operating in. If I was to reveal this to you, some of you all would say that is the devil because you don't got this revelation. The scales ain't been moved off of you yet. The sky, the scales got to come off for you to. He said it's not lawful. Because there's a law. 
to see certain sides of God and to hear certain sides of God be presented. He that hath an ear, let him hear what what the, what the Spirit is saying. He that hath an ear, he so so. There's a level. There's a law that only the ear could be able to hear. Jesus, when he healing that man, has to heal him twice or has to release the power twice. Because that man, that's how much scales that man got on him. That even when the creator touched him one time, even the creator's touch, not able to open up his eyes completely, he's still dim. That's how far, that's how far man have strayed from God. That's how far tradition will take you. That's how far self-righteousness will take you. That's how far offense will take you. That John will see that he was the lamb that takes away the sins of this world. Now he's saying, is this the Christ? That's how far. Inconsistency is proof of ludicrous. Inconsistency is proof of a lunatic. Inconsistency is insanity. Inconsistency means that I'm introduced to the light, but I still choose to be in a dark room. I can't see nothing in the dark room. I'm hitting myself. I'm injuring myself. I'm damaging myself. And I come into the light. I can see everything. I can enjoy everything. And I say, let me go back to the room where I was damaging myself. Let me go back to the room where I can't see. Let me go back to the room where, ah, oh, I'm hurt again. Ah, oh, I'm in pain again. Ah, oh, I'm, I can't see. Ah, oh, I'm being tormented. Saints, is insanity. Look at yourself when you're strong and look at yourself when you're weak. Them two different persons. That person that when you weak, that's the dumbest you. The person when you strong, that's the wisest you. And if you stay in the wisest you for long enough, you'll look at the weakest you and say, how the hell is that? That ain't me. <laughs> you don't know who you messing with. I shut your wine. I shut your wine. I shut your wine. I shut your wine. You want fried chicken wing? You want duck sauce? You want tada sa? What sa she want? What sa she want? You go to a black restaurant. You ask them for the sauce. We ain't got no more. And why you ask me if I wanted it? You done introduced me to a level of temptation that now I got urges. I need to satisfy this. You can't introduce me, tell me that you got teriyaki sauce. Uh, 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 you you should have mentioned no daggone teriyaki. I don't, 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 no, no, don't come for me. Get your hand off my back. I'm going to talk my piece up in here. I'm a free citizen, right? Well, call 911. Call 911. Call 911. Call 911. Call 911. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, I'm calling 911. There's a uh, there's a belligerent customer inside that they're not listening to me. Uh, I'm calling for your same reinforcement. Call 911. Oh, you really call 911? I got warrants. I got warrants, nigga. You ain't had to do that. Come on, come on, get get there. Five more, five <laughs> There's two things that, that children scared of in the hood. Uh, police officers and butt whoopings. <laughs> It'll be a thug on the side of the street tossing. Man, yeah, man, they don't want to check me, man. They don't want no smoke. You feel me? 21. You feel me? 21. They don't want no smoke, man. I'm a savage out here, man. They don't want none of this, man. You know what I'm saying? They cross around me, cross around me. I put a cross around them. You know what I'm saying? I black, black, rat. You know what? You don't want none of that. You don't want none of that. Uh, what's your mama? Your mama behind me. Who mama you talking about, man? A mama behind me. Ma Did Oh. Yeah, um, I, well, well, I learned in Bible study. Mama, mama how... Mama, y'all was just telling about the Bible study. 
Think, 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 mama, you ain't gonna grab me. Mama, you ain't gonna grab me. You ain't. Mama done jerked them. Mama done jerked them all across. <laughs> you don't even know how mama got all that strength. Done jerked them all across the, all across the basketball court. So you imagine, what is Jesus bringing you back into? Wealth, riches, prosperity, and a blessing. Being fruitful and multiplying financially in, in every area of your life. Sensual, uh, saints, uh, financial uh, production. Financial, uh, uh, financial uh, creation activity is in your DNA. Saints, if you look at what God did for Adam, he gave him a strategy where he could make money move. God gave Adam, a, and saints, now we underneath the second Adam, the new covenant, the new, the new covenant, the new blood covenant that's way better. So saints, if he underneath that old covenant had money moving for him, and that was God's beginning in covenant, and now God has increased the covenant and made it far better, far more enjoyable, how much more money move when you're sowing? Saints in my ministry, money always going out. I, I got to pay for something, pay for something, pay for something. And I ain't even stressed out. Why? Because I'm a steward of the money. I, I know how to listen to the Father. I sow, I sow, and I don't even let it stop my sowing. Saints, do you know that my responsibilities that, I, that, that, that God put upon me, apart from that, don't stop my sowing hands? I'm still a sower. So, so, so you, you rocking with the best. Huh? I'm still a sower. It don't, it don't affect me. Nothing in this life stop me from sowing. I still sow heavy too. I don't cut down on my sowing. Because the more assignment God give me, the more wealth he gonna give me to fulfill it. Always know that wealth is an increase of God's instructions on your life. Wealth and riches means that Jesus is trusting you with more fruit. He's, remember John 15 say that he'll purge you and bear more fruit through you. Saints, when you sow and God is purging you to bear more fruit financially, my gosh. Saints, when there's a wealth anointing on you, God will purge you with the seed. So that he can enter you into the next financial level. So there are certain things that God start um, um, uh, mentoring you in. Because your money about to change because your instructions about to change. And, and so, so, so um, don't think that God going to give you greater wealth and not have greater surveillance. On your life. So he's going to start moving people out. You can't talk to them no more. Oh, well, I thought, watch this here. Do you know that there's some people that, that it's not like they're going to harm you physically, but they're going to harm you mentally. They're going to harm you provisionally. You, you, know, you know what that means? Um, and, and yes, they will harm you mentally. Let me correct that. They will harm you mentally because uh, they can't even, no demon can get access to your finances or anything concerning your health without your mind. Your mind is a portal to your finances, is a portal to your physical health, is a portal to a lot of events that happen in your life. So, so uh, there are people that are dangerous to your mind because they're not prosperous to your mind. They're not bringing you into prosperity. They're bringing you, and saints, prosperity is God's uh, divine fantasy for your life. Think about a fantasy. The Lord be fantasizing about who he can make rich. 
The Lord be fantasizing, who could I put wealth in their hands to give them the power to establish my covenant on the earth? What Deuteronomy 8.18 say? That, that the money will come to establish his covenant. That financial flow will come to establish his covenant. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord your God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get well. So God giving you a power and anointing for money nonstop. Say, Father, I receive the power to get wealth. I receive a strong money anointing. That's what this is, is a strong money anointing. Why, why would God put a power on me to get wealth if wealth is bad? Wealth is abundance of money that defends you in the spirit realm and in the natural realm. Wealth is the abundance of finances to accomplish the gospel assignment of God in the end times. End time wealth is sitting on you right now. I decree and I declare as an apostle and a prophet of God, end time wealth is sitting on you right now. And I decree a manifestation. I decree a manifestation of wealth in your life right now. I decree a manifestation and a saturation of wealth power manifested in your life right now. I decree finances be loosed in your life right now. I decree money cometh to you right now. I decree financial investors be loosed in your life right now. I decree people that God has assigned to bless you in the name of Jesus. Loose, loose, loose right now. Loose right now in Jesus' name. I speak money manifestation into your life right now. I decree checks in the mail in your life right now. I decree every institute that has money that's supposed to be in your hands, I command that money right now in the name of Jesus as I stand in the office of the apostle as I stand in the office of the prophet in the name of Jesus I command that money to get to you right now I do warfare right now and I bind every demon every strong man that want to corrupt your honor right now in the name of Jesus see I'm dealing with the root when I deal with a strong man corrupting the honor I'm dealing with the root because honor will, will give you access to all these things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Honor is the wisdom of God of how to multiply favor. Write that down. Honor is the wisdom of God of how to multiply favor. Sowing brings favorable moments one after the other. Write that down. Sowing brings favorable moments one after the other. Saints, I'm going to tell you something. Man, how I move. Man, listen, listen, saints. I'm going to tell you something. The truth of the matter is, I'm like Teflon. Saints, saints, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm really untouchable. You understand, right? I'm really untouchable. I'm really untouchable, so I know some things in the spirit. Saints, there's nothing that the devil does that touches me. Not at, not at all. Not at all. I heard, I heard, them, I heard them calling, uh, <laughs> they, they call R. Kelly Teflon down. Nah, he not Teflon down. He got, he got, he got taken down. <laughs> That's why I heard that term Teflon down. <laughs> but, but listen, listen. I, I, I Kelly telling me are uh, uh, two different uh, kingdoms. <laughs> let me let me clarify this. <laughs> what I'm telling you is, I heard the term Teflon Don dealing with I Kelly. All right, that that's that's what that's what that's what I'm saying. Uh, 
But I'm saying he not Teflon Don because they took him down with Bill Cosby. <laughs> and somebody hit Bill with a cold sandwich. Whoosh. 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 What I'm telling you is that I'm untouchable. I'm unstoppable. Living a spirit realm life. Living in the spirit 24-7. Saints, around like 2 p.m., right? I stepped into a vision. I saw someone, bam, bam, bam. When I stepped into the vision, as soon as I woke up, bam, bam, bam. The Lord said, da, sha, 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 sha. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I, I just had stepped into a vision about, about a person. Bam, 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 bam. What I'm telling you is that this is a, 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 a spirit-led life. I'm in the spirit on the Lord's day all the time. See, see, John had to wait to be in the spirit on the Lord's day. I'm in the spirit on the Lord's day every day. All day is the Lord's day. All day I'm in the spirit. You notice I ain't used no notes yet? <laughs> I'll be giving you wisdom doors one after the next. Wealth is the river of the Holy Spirit. That brings glory to God. To, to Jehovah Jireh. It brings glory to El Shaddai. Wealth is the river of the Holy Spirit that brings glory to El Shaddai, the God of abundance. Saints, when you're sowing, you're going to meet the God of abundance. You can meet the God that set you free from, from bad thoughts and addictions. Now you got to meet the, good, the God that provides you good thoughts and, and, and bring you uh, into abundance. Saints, it's powerful. Once you step into abundance, uh, this place of abundance is a lavish life. <laughs> Somebody took their bra out just again. Now, there's a reason why God having me take this out. Somebody just took their bra out trying to go to sleep. Wake yourself up. Let's finish this daggone broadcast. <laughs> don't start. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Wake yourself up. Somebody just did it. See? <laughs> That's why God had me do it. You up there took your, took your bra. Don't take your bra off right now. Listen, we're going to finish what we started. Miss it, Poole. I ain't going to play with you. I ain't playing. Nah, I ain't playing with you today. Put your daggone bra back on. Let's finish this with your clothes on. This ain't Genesis Reloaded Part 2. Or part three and a half. We're going to finish this, blessed be God. We're going to finish it up in here. All right, I ain't having it. You know, took your eyebrow, eyelash off. We ain't going to let the other second part two get taken off. We're going to keep it coping steady. Coping steady. We're going to keep it coping steady up in here. And keep it coping steady up in here. And now, I'm waiting for you. Thank you. All right, amen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, don't be disrespectful. Don't be sending no distractions. Don't, don't be saying no distraction. Shoot. Now, saints, let's see. Money! Come it to me now! Money! Come it to me now! Ra 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 Give God praise. Give God praise for what he about to do. Give God praise for what he about to do. We already prayed in the creed. We done saw it in the creed. Now let God do his work. Rest in the Lord. The Bible said that he will exalt you to take the land. Psalm 37. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Money! That's an assault. That's an assault on the devil. That, that's an assault on the devil. We are assaulting him right now. You see that press? You see that press? You see that press? You got a whole life ahead of you of the blessing of God. You got a whole life ahead of you of God's word coming to pass. We believe Jesus. And I'm not trying to convince you. I already got the 140 in my life. 